lexical convention in very low HDL. So it's a continuation video. So previous session, we discussed about what is comment, how to represent the comments in very low HDL program, like one line comment, multiple line comments, then white space. So how we efficiently used in the white space in very low HDL program, then final one operators. So what are the operators present in very log HDL? For example, unary operator, binary operator, and ternary operators. So this session, first we discuss about number specification. There are two types of number specification in very log HDL. If you need to do any operations, first you declare the numbers. So this number is classified into two types. First one is sized number system and next one is unsized number specification we will discuss one by one so first one sized number so sized numbers are represent as so this is the syntax so this format only we can represent the sized number system so first one is size and tick next represent base format then follow numbers so what is size so this size is represent how many digit of values we can use in the program. We can use in the instructions. So written only in decimal numbers. So this size is represent only in decimal numbers like four digit or eight digit or 12 digit or 16 or 32 any values. Then base format. So this base format represent in which type of number system is used in the instruction you know very well about the number systems we have a four types of number system first one is decimal number system hexadecimal number system octal number system then binary number system if you use the decimal number system in the sense in the instruction you can use d so d represent for decimal number system h represent for hexadecimal number system O represent for systems. Then B represent for binary number systems. So I represent B. So this B represent binary number systems. The next one, numbers. So represent as a numerical value a to f is represent as a alphabetic value so this is the example so for take size of the number b represent binary numbers double zero one zero so it's a binary number four is represent in the program Next, we go to discuss unsized number. So, unsized number or specified without a default. So, in decimal numbers, we cannot mention this format. Next point numbers that are written without a size. So, numbers that are written without a size, we cannot mention the size. So number of digit specification. Have a default number of bits that is simulator and machine specific. It must be at least 32 bit values. So these three are the example of unsized numbers. We will discuss one by one. So first one is two, three, four, five. So this two, three, four, five, six is the decimal numbers so it's easily understandable we cannot mention the base format we cannot represent d so before the value we cannot mention the d and without size we cannot mention the size so size in the sense here five digit value we cannot mention five digit value we cannot mention format d so 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 is a default. We understand this one is a 
decimal value 32 bit of decimal value so this is a 32 bit decimal number by default so next example pick h c3 so this h represent hexadecimal value so this is the 32 bit of values so next one o 21 so this o represent octal 21 represent values next one x or z so in very low HDL or digital electronics we can mention the numbers like 0 1 so means it's a low value 1 in the sense it's a high x represent unknown values so z represent high impedance values so here x represent for unknown data z represent for high impedance values so this is the representation so how to represent hex and z in the data form so first example 12 pick h 13 x so this 12 represent size of the digit h represent hexadecimal value so this 13 x is the hexadecimal value 12 bit hexadecimal value so this x is a unknown value for least significant bit is unknown so this x is called as a unknown bits so next example 6 tick h x so this 6 is the size of the number it's a six digit value it's a hexadecimal x represent for unknown values this is a six bit hexadecimal number so another example 32 tick b is a so is that represent for high impedance value so it's a binary value this is a 32 bit high impedance number then final points and x or z set four bits for a number in the hexadecimal base suppose the number in the hexadecimal base in the sense x or z represent in four bit values three bits for number in the octal base suppose the base value is octal in the sense the each digit represent in a three bit values and one bit for the number in the binary base if the number in the binary base in the sense one bit representation next we go to represent negative numbers so how to represent the negative numbers in very large hdl program so the negative number can be specified by putting a minus sign so putting a minus sign before the size for a constant number so before the size for the constant number so this minus is represent before the constant number so size of the constant number next point size constant or always positive so this six is always positive it's not a negative number it is illegal to have a minus sign between base format and number if you put a minus sign between base format and numbers it's a illegal format so like this so 4 tick d minus of 2 so this is a illegal specification if you want to represent the minus number you should mention the minus sign before the size of the constant number so minus 6 tick d 3 so d represent the decimal number this 3 is a negative number so 8 bit negative number stored as a 2's complement of 3 so minus 3 in the sense 2's complement of 3 so next example minus 6 tick yes so this yes represent signed integer numbers so signed integer decimal values so next one underscore character and question mark we can use the underscore and question mark in very long hdl program many places an underscore character is allowed anywhere in a number except the first character we cannot mention the underscore in the first character 
so underscore character are allowed only to improve the readability so this underscore symbol mainly used to improve the readability of numbers on ignored by verilog the question mark symbol in verilog hdl is represent alternative for is that so is that is a high impedance so alternative symbol is question mark so this two are the example so how to represent the underscore character and how to represent the question marks so first example 12 pick b 41 underscore four zeros underscore one zero one six so it's a the msb 4 bit value this one is the least significant 4 bit value so this one is the middle 4 bit value the user can easily reading the numbers then next one 4 pick b 10 double quotient mark so already i told this quotient mark represent alternative symbol of is that so high impedance value so this question mark is equivalent of is that so 4 pick b 10 double question mark so this expression so this number is replaced like this so 4 tick b 10 double z so this question mark is replaced into z so high impedance values so next one string so string in the sense sequence of character so that character is enclosed by double quotes so string is a sequence of character so it's enclosed by double quotes so it's a one line it must be contained on a single line that is without carriage return so we cannot write in multiple lines so this is the example so hello very log word so it's a string ascii value so this ascii value mentioned between the double quotes and second example a slash b double quote it's also considered as a string the next one identifiers and keywords so what is identifier so identifier in the sense you can identify the input variables and output variable so input port output port so register wire so these all are called as a identifiers when writing a very long code you will need to identify an objects so identify an object such as input port and variables so these are the things comes under identify so identifier may contain alphabetic and numerical characters so the underscore or dollar sign basically anything in the range so a to z so this underscore represent a to z or capital a to z or 0 to 9 underscore and dollar so both the symbols are used to declare the range of the variables so these two are example rich value so this register is called as a keyword this value called as a identifier so here input so input called as a keyword and clock called as a identifier so next one escaped identifier so this escaped identifier is stored with backslash character and end with white space so start with backslash and end with white space so all character between what black slash and white space or proceed literally so any printable ascii character can be include escaped identifiers so these are the examples so that escaped identifier is placed between the backslash and this white space so this is the escaped identifier so second example so the escaped identifier start with backslash and end with white space. I hope you understand the concept very well. If you are watching first time in my video, kindly subscribe and support us to make a lot of videos. Thanks for watching my channel. Thank you.